Merry me, everyone. I am so happy to be back. I will be um, pretty much coming back to doing some occasional readings on YouTube, and I have had a lot of requests on my private um, website, so that's great. I'm pretty happy about that, and um, have gotten great feedback from people um, wanting readings, so that is awesome. And I will be doing occasional readings in YouTube, as usual. Uh, mini readings on YouTube and doing book reviews and all that stuff. So I have a couple of things to say uh, to you guys um, before I'm, I'm going to do a book review, which is this book you see here, Encyclopedia of 5,000 Spells. And this is by Judica Isles, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit, which is, I, this is my little toy now, my new toy, which is awesome. I highly recommend this book if you're into rituals and spells and all that beautiful stuff. So, um, that is that. I'm going to go into that in a little bit. But, updates regarding what I've been up to, which pretty much I've been up to um, a lot. I have, I've been sick the last two, three weeks with a bad flu that doesn't want to go away. Um, I've been in the middle of a move, moving from family to my condo. And it has been, as you can see, very, very uh, busy for me. I have had a whole bunch of emails I haven't been able to get back to, and I will be getting back to you guys that have emailed me recently in a couple of days. So hopefully tonight I could get a couple of them out and um, continue going forward from there. I am also thinking of working on a podcast and a blog. So I am in the middle of that too, um, and I am pretty much e very happy about that idea. So I want to kind of connect my tarot, private tarot readings with the um, blog and also do a um, podcast on tarot, tarot and uh, also Wicca. Um, so that is coming up in the next couple of weeks to a month or two, and um, that is in the process. Um, I've also been very happy, very excited about my private readings that have been going very, very well. Um, I've been getting a lot of feedback, which is great, and um, a lot of people have been very interested in getting private readings from my website, so I'm very excited about that. Thank God. Thank God and the Goddess. They have been there for me and helping me through these uh, situations that we all go through in life, minor uh, minor little irritations here and there, but everything's in generally fine. Um, so that's that, and I will be continue to do. Um, I've been getting some several requests for readings. Um, I will continue to do readings on YouTube occasionally, okay? Occasionally, and um, I'll be doing me readings for you, um, which means that I will just be going very general. Um, I won't be answering a lot of questions. Today. I've had several people email me with several questions. I will be just focusing on one or two questions uh, per reading, um, and that is what I'll be doing. So um, to kind of move uh, move ahead with all the, the requests that I have. Um, so that is pretty much what I have in mind regarding the YouTube. I will also, um, I am thinking about I know people have been asking me about showing uh, showing my face and all that kind of stuff. I will be doing that in a couple of weeks. I haven't because it's personal preference, but um, I will. I think I kind of feel comfortable, so I will be doing that soon, and you will all be seeing me. So that will be cool. And I want to get into discussions, um, and several topics in mind that I have, and. Uh, like Wicca and rituals and all that beautiful stuff that I love um, from our religion and um, yeah and book reviews etc. So this book um, is very very good. Um, it's called the Encyclopedia of Five Thousand Spells and it has all kinds of things that you can imagine. Okay, and you don't imagine. Um, it is beautiful. It has um, a whole bunch of rituals in, in every area of your life. So, um, like, it has rituals. First of all, it talks about part one, which are the elements of magic spells. 
and it is awesome because it tells you how to do spell casting, the key concepts of casting magical spells, rituals and tools and techniques, and how to use the book. Um, and then it goes into the spells, which is part two, all kinds of spells that are here. Uh, we have animal spells, banishing spells, business and professional success spells, cleansing spells, court case spells, death spells, um, it has divination spells, spells for domination, dream spells, the evil eye, fertility spells for conception and contraception, fire safety spells, gambler spells, happy home spells, healing spells, hexes and their antidotes, invisibility and transformation spells, love magic for romance, true love, luck and success spells, marriage and divorce spells, money, pregnancy, protection, psychic powers, spells for travelers, spirit summoning, theft, loss objects, unblocking spells, weather, youth, beauty, and longevity. And then it has like on the back, it has like, like a, a table um, which goes into, let me go here. And I believe it's 1063. Well, here they have a very interesting, which I haven't really gotten into because it's so big. It has so much information. Like, it tells you how to do blessing water. It tells you how to do, like, how to charge your water, how to do angel water, um, which is great. This is, I'm telling you, this is my new toy. Um, it has how to do Florida water on your own. They do sell it, Florida water, which I have, but you can make it as well. Um... And they have several, like, little, um, like, ingredients on how to do. They have two kinds of versions, how to do Florida water. Um, they have, let's see what else they have. Flour, flour, rose water. They have Four Thieves Vinegar, which it says here that Four Thieves Vinegar is very, very good for banishing Okay, for banishing spells, which I've seen in a couple of the rituals that are in this book. So, and it gives you the ingredients of how to do it, which is not that hard, actually. I'm looking at it right now, and it's pretty simple. It says, obtain the best possible red wine or apple cider vinegar, peel and crush garlic cloves, and add them to the vinegar. You cannot have too much garlic, especially if you plan to use Four Thieves for its healing and immunity boosting properties. Traditional, traditionally, each thief contributed one ingredient. Choose one of the following to represent each thief for a total of four additional ingredients. Black pepper, whole cajun, other chili pepper, uh, lavender, mint, rosemary, rue, sage, thyme, and wormwood. Allowing this to sit for four days, shaking once daily and before using. So, yeah, it has, like, a whole bunch of um, how to make different kinds of waters, which I love, and I haven't been able to do, but I will get into that. How to do holy water, how to do indigo water. I mean, it goes on and on and on. It has all kinds of stuff here. How to do oils. It's, I mean, that's, that's the table in the back. Then there's a good ritual, which I wanted to recommend really, really quick which I found here, and I've found it to be so, so powerful, so good. And I've used it every time, and it never fails. This is for depression or for anxiety, anything that has to do with mental, um, yeah, mental, like, anxiety and anything that has to do with that aspect. Um, it's a saint. I'm looking for it now, and I can't find it. It's called, she is called Saint Difna, and she is so miraculous. I, I mean, every time I invoke her, she is, and even, I mean, she is beautiful. You can look her up. I will put the name in the side there for you. Um, oh, my God, I can't believe I can't find it now. It's such a pain. When, oh, here we go. I got it. Okay, here we go. Saint Difna Mental Relief Spell. So, this saint, um, she is a saint of 17th century Celtic princess from Britain, or Ireland, they believe, and she went through a lot of mental problems and disturbances. Her father was obsessed with her, sexually molested her, etc., etc. So when you have problems with um, issues like that, um, 
you pretty much invoke her. I'm going to stop the, the video here because I'm running out of time. I'll be right back.